Hello and welcome to Geekers. My name is Jamie Langdon and I love geeky stuff more than Batman loves justice. So today, we, me and Sam, who you've met a few yeah. times in Gaming with Sam and Jamie, uh, we're going to give you our top 10 favourite Joker and Harley moments due to the fact that A, the Suicide Squad um, trailer was released today, and B, the Killing Joke animated feature film was also released last week. And if you haven't guessed, we're pretty big fans of... You know, the Joker, Harley. We are in no way affiliated with DC Comics. Like, our views do not represent theirs. But they should, because ours are the best. Yeah. So, we're going to come in thick and fast with number 10, which is, funnily enough, The Killing Joke. Uh, this is my personal favourite um, storyline. There's no one moment that I can pick from it. But basically... If you haven't read it, I'll give you a quick sum up of the plot. Uh, the Joker kidnaps Barbara Gordon. No, doesn't. Oh wait, what is? It? Oh, it's he kidnaps Jim Gordon, no, but kid... on his uh, way. Oh, yeah. He has to get rid of Barbara Gordon, so he shoots her, and that's how she ends up as Oracle. But basically, his whole goal with Jim is to drive him mad, and he does this by showing pictures of Barbara Gordon naked. Um, after she's been shot, after not she's just, been just shot. naked. Yeah, and also there's some babies involved. It's been a while since I've read the whole story, but it is the most widely accepted origin of the Joker because there's flashbacks to back when he was. The widely accepted name is Jack Napier. I'm but, that right. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's not actually confirmed that's who he is in it, the comics. But it's the widely accepted. It's widely accepted. The widely accepted story, story is that he got enlisted by the Red Hoods, which are a big gang in Gotham, and after a lively fight with good old Bats, Demon. he gets pushed into a vat of Joker gas, which turns him into the Joker we all know and love. Yay! Number nine is a moment from Assault on Arkham. <laughs> it's a Suicide Squad movie, um, but they basically have to break into Arkham to find the Riddler's Kane. To retrieve information that the Riddler claims to have on the squad and a matter of all of that now that's going happening. And then basically, um, but at the same time, Batman is trying to find a dirty bomb that the Joker has said has said he's hidden inside of Gotham. We're not going to tell you where. It's a pretty big plot point. Exactly. But the point, the moment that we are looking at particularly is when the Joker and Harley first see each other, I think my favourite line is, hey, look. The hey, the Joker just spotted like, Harley! And literally, like, all the security guards kind of crowd, crowd around, and it's but, actually, it, you know me, like, it's, oh my god, like, you're supposed to be doing your fucking job, sorry, you're supposed to be doing your job, and instead, you're, like, watching it like it's some reality TV show, which I guess for them, my, like, keeping up with the Arkham's, like. My favourite part, uh, that I have two, uh, the first one is, well, we've got some points. Yeah. Um, it's quite an amusing moment because <laughs> it just, it's, it's quite funny. And I think it's quite honest about the abusive side of the relationship because I think it's one of the best reactions that Harley could have had. Instead of being like, oh, pretty. Literally, she kind of freezes, doesn't really know what to react. And dead shit's like, oh, keep moving, keep moving. We've got a mission. And she's all like, oh, just ignore him, just ignore him. And he makes a comment. I see the bruises have cleared up nicely. And she just freaks. And basically grabs the gun that Deadshot has and tries to kill him. Uh, but I think my, my personal favourite line from that section is right at the end when Deadshot and Harley are walking away. Yeah. And the basically... Can I finish one? No, because this goes into what we have written here. Because basically, Har obviously, Harley and Deadshot have a little moment. Yeah, they have sex, basically. And she uses that to her advantage to wind the Joker up, which I thought was quite cool, because it shows that he does actually care, because he gets really, really jealous. And uh, so this leads up to my favourite line. Uh, Harley and Deadshot are walking away at this point. Uh, their plan is working, but the Joker shouts from his cell, I bet you bought your shirt secondhand too. Because the Joker's very much like known for looking very crisp and clean. 
and you know clearly doesn't get his shirt second hand and because of this he sees that as a really big insult because the Joker is a bit of a diva and a fashionista. I think it's quite funny because it showed that Harley can push his buttons just as easy as he can hers. And I'm like... Yeah, so, please. on to the point eight, which Sam is going to tell you about. Okay, so this is from Harley Quinn Invades San Diego's Comic Con, which is a brilliantly fab New 52 comic, which, I know, we all have our issues with New 52, but that's for a different video, not this video. favourite moment Don't has to be... Huh? Don't set up videos. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favourite moment when Harley Quinn meets Bruce, Tim and Paul... Dilly. There we go. Which are her creators! And not only are they are, like, literally, she kind of pushes the guy who plays Oliver Queen and Arrow out of the way to get to them. And just like, you guys are my heroes. And I'm like... Preach it, they might too, because if they weren't for them, I wouldn't have Harley. So, oh, what did Matt say? Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway. that's what, like, I, what I like about it is sort of the similar reasons why I like Deadpool, because it, it breaks that fourth wall. That, that, like, yeah. that fourth wall was destroyed the moment she went to Comic Con. Like, the moment you know Comic Con is a thing in DC. In the DC universe, you're just like, right, okay, so there is no 4 4 anymore. Shall we move on to number, to number seven? seven. Oh. Um, okay. Beware the Creeper. <laughs> this is from the new Batman animated adventures. Uh, the other day, me and uh, Sam literally watched. We spent all two of the days new... watching old Batman animation animated Worth it. series. Like, if you. Doing uni work. If you remember watching them as a child, like they were great, and you were like, "Oh yeah, there's bright colours and stuff." But if you go back and actually watch them, like now, like they're dark. Mm. Particularly this this episode. So the episode we're looking at is "Beware the Creeper," where Jack Ryder, who is a journalist, <laughs> um, Jack Ryder is affected by Joker gas, as I mentioned earlier on, the thing that turned the Joker into the Joker. No, it wasn't. He's affected by Joker gas. Like they kind of throw Joker gas, and then they push, and he ends up falling into the same chemicals that turn Joker. So he ends up becoming this weird lemon skin creeper guy. Um, anyway, on the seven year anniversary of the Joker. So when the creeper meets Harley Quinn, he like falls madly in love. Like who wouldn't? And uh, he follows her around and kind of creeps her out a bit. And she runs to... Who? Can you guess it? Mr. J! She runs to the Joker and she's like, put him, put him, put him. Help me, help me, help me. Like, I swear I didn't lead him on. Which is when you kind of go, there must have been several situations for her to have to prove that, that she, she didn't, didn't lead him, him on. on. But she, but the Joker turns around, and I think this is one of my definite... Oh, it's, it's so up there oh, in lines that the Joker says adorable. that are beautiful. Uh, is you're a one woman Lou? You're what? You're, you're one, one man, man kind of Lou. He's gonna say it. You should at least say it right. It's, it's right written there here. On the screen. I, I, uh, I'm very tired. I. It, oh, it was just for us. Like I know you shouldn't really compare the moments, but if you think back from the contrast for num from number nine. Number nine. Um, number yeah, nine. we're going. Um, yeah. about the violent relationship in. Ar uh, Assault on Arkham. Assault on Arkham is very more grown up. Than the new Batman Adventures, but it's, it's still tasteful side boob. It's just it's a sweet moment. It's a sweet, it's a sweet scene. And it's literally like there's a sec. Uh, the Joker grabs Harley by her tassel and spins her into him like a kind of dance. It's really nice, beautiful moment. So shall we move on to numero six? So we're back. In Assault on Arkham. Uh, based some of what happened to this point, um, Jacob, uh, the Joker has also escaped from his cell. I think it's kind of a provoked thing from Harley making him a bit jealous over the whole revealing her activities with Deadshot. And basically, in order for, to help everybody escape, Harley Quinn ends up going back to him. He doesn't quite believe that she's doing it out of good intent, like, doing it because she wants to. And she says this fab line. She kind of leans up and she goes, it will be just like old times. And his eyes just kind of go... Uh, it's... 
I feel it shows that he values compassion. Like he values her being around. Like if he didn't, he'd just be like, "No, go away." Like, like we we were discussing yesterday that the the Joker, but like if he didn't want her around, he would have killed her. He would have actually killed her. Saying he would have killed her is a bit of a loser because he does try a number of times. Yeah, but he never like he just doesn't. But it also, I think it's quite good because it shows that she can manipulate him. Yeah. So, so yeah, number five. Number five is in Harley Quinn number 25. <laughs> Don't quote me on that, especially because I'm not entirely Our sure. Our sources may be a little off. Yeah. Um, basically, it's Harley Quinn versus the Joker, and basically she is broken into. I don't know whether it's Arkham or a prison. Not entirely sure. It looks like, it, it it looks looks like Arkham, but like not entirely sure. It could be breaks Batgirl. in to break out Mason, who's the guy she's kind of got something going on with. But the Joker is in the cell next door, and basically he kind of taunts her into, you know, like actually, you know, having a conversation because he's trying to get her to break him out as well, and they run off together in his words. And it's just, it's such a beautifully empowering moment for her. Because she's literally like, you know what? I've done some real thinking since we've been apart. And you are not good for me. I'm not good for you. But more, you know. You're not good for me. You're not good for me because I'm perfect kind of thing. She doesn't actually say that. And it's so beautiful. But I think it's so fun because he's trying to convince her to stay with him. Because I don't think he doesn't want to admit that he wants her around. And you can see it. He's trying to manipulate her and thinking it's her idea for him to stick around with her. But really... He kind of wants her. He kind of wants her. I think he also kind of wants out. And knows that like, she'd be the only one... Who could get Who her. would actually let him out. But she's kind of like, you know what? And it, it fucks, it ends with... Don't say anything. Just lie there and bleed. And then she leaves. So, on that morbid note... Yeah. Uh, we'll move on to number four, which I'm going to talk about. Uh, the Trial, which is from Batman Animated Adventures. Series. Series. This is... Number four. This is number four. Number uh, and it's four. Harley Quinn on the stand. Uh, in this, the convicts of Arkham have put Batman up, up for trial for basically say uh, because the new commissioner at this point wants Batman gone and blame... No, the new district attorney. Oh, district attorney, yeah. And wants to blame Batman for the creation of characters like the Joker, Harley Quinn, the Riddler, Killer Croc, Mad Hatter... Da, 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 la, 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 There's a long list. There's a long list. Anyway, so he's the Joker's like, hey, that's a, that's a pretty novel idea. Let's put Batman on trial. And he... Joker is the right reverend... Or the wrong reverend Joker. And... Thanks. <laughs> and um, Harley Quinn is one of the witnesses, and uh, she leans up and she says, like, Oh, hey, Mr. Jim, blah, blah, blah. Um, and he is literally oh, he's leaning so... over, and she's just kind of stroking him, and he's like, And the what? district attorney turns around and goes, goes She's trying to corrupt the judge. And then and he leans like... in and he goes, <laughs> And Harley swoops. <sighs> but I think this is, just shows the comedy of their relationship. Yeah. Like that, I think it's even better when you think she goes from this moment and all like, oh, it's Batman, Batman created my joke, my Mr. J. And then, if, it wasn't like, for my Mr. J. if it wasn't for B-Man, I wouldn't have my Mr. J. And then the district attorney kind of turns around just a bit like, yeah, well, you do realise that he is the reason you're in, you were in here at one point because he kind of like gave you that. up. Yeah. And she just kind of like, you're lying. He's like, she's lying, isn't she, put in? And he's like, Whoa! And then she... And it's like, I'll kill him! I'll kill him! Oh my god, no, that's a memorable mention that we've definitely got to mention at the end. I'll We're not going to do that. I'll yeah. kill him! So, we're going to move on. Now, this, I know, is a fan favourite. Fan favourite, um, number three. Number three, and it is... Oh, mad love. Don't you want to rev up your Harley? <laughs> It's such a great moment. It's definitely one of my. It's fun. I love it because he just doesn't care. He pushes he off the table. Realise what's going For on. All those who... And she's in that little skimpy little red dress. So initially, that was a comic, wasn't it? Uh, yes. It started out as a comic, which is Harley Quinn's first appearance in the comics, if I remember. No, 
Oh, I think it is. That don't hold me to that. I could be wrong. If I am wrong, tell me in the comments. I'd really like to know. Uh, but it's from the Batman animated adventure series. Again, there's a lot from that, particularly considering Harley started there. Um, and the whole premise is the Joker is kind of like I'm trying to kill Batman. I can't. Kill I've Batman. got to get rid of Batman, I've but I can't him. think but of a good enough joke. Anyway, and Harley. She just wants a little bit of the D. And it just shows how insistent she is. She's literally, at one point, oh, I need to make a joke. And she literally wraps herself around him and just goes, I know a way to make some smiles. And he's like, no. Yeah, it, it, it's just... His mind is not on the... <laughs> his on mind the is not on Harley at that point in no. time. Uh, <gasps> Number two. Oh, now this, this was a close... This was, we the, argued about her, what was going to be second and first. So, but while. we settled on this Number and it two. worked really well. Number two, The Joker, Death of a Family from the New 52, part three. Uh, which part three, which is Harley, Harley Quinn's Quinn part. Um, which most of it is in Suicide Squad, but there's a few little bits that aren't. That a lot of, because um, obviously we cosplay as Joker and Harley, and a lot of flack that we get as a couple is... Um, we glorify their relationship, but we don't. No. Like, we're fully aware we, of it. I believe we turn to people and we like, no, we don't. I know for a fact, and I know, she, like, and this is the thing, like, she kind of knows this now as well, but Harley and Joker are a toxic relationship. He's that toxic ex that we all have. Except yeah. she can't get rid of him because she doesn't want him gone. Exactly. Which but is different. Back to the specific moment. Uh, there are a few No moments. one ever, like, people often say that cosplayers don't really do their research don't do, not not necessarily that but people don't often say that cosplayers will look into the fact that the joke and harley are have an extremely abusive relationship i mean you like, really will turn around and go yeah they do yeah they do like sure i'm not gonna smack sam in public <laughs> but you know we acknowledge it anyway back to the list the thing, yeah the list um so there are a few moments like we we were talking for a good yeah. twenty minutes about especially for this part for this part like what is our favourite moment from this section of Death of a Family? I personally love all of Death of a Family. Oh my god, yes, it's fab. And but I, obviously, also, this is in the just top finished, ten. Just finished reading the lead up to that, so that's pretty cool. But so we're just going to read you this list and not really elaborate too much yeah. because this video is nearly twenty minutes long. Um, so the first one, um, one of the first thoughts. One of his first thoughts is actually Harley. Like, I don't know, I mean, I don't know the exact order because obviously we just got it how it's done. But obviously the way the comic goes, it goes Catwoman, Harley. So you kind of, I think it was more, he was just trying to make sure that Catwoman wasn't going to get in his way whilst he tries to kill Batman and the rest of them. And Catwoman yeah. at this point is like, you know what, no. Yeah. Like, me and Batman are not um, are done. The Joker. When he, oh, when he reveals himself. The Joker like, reveals himself. Oh my god, it's fab, and it's even worse because it's at the funeral. Yeah. A different character. Oh, oh yeah, you can't say. I don't want to say. People might. Spoilers. spoilers! Wah, 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 wah. I might have spoilers flash on the screen here. Mm -hmm. Wah wah wah. Um, but that was really. It's like, such a fab because it's still it's still him, but it's such it's such a darker. <laughs> version of him and a little bit of context um the joker for the death of the family has had his face removed and he's kind of wearing it now as this weird, as this weird sort of mask. rotten mask and the whole reason why he did that was to remove his humanity he mm -hmm. was done with it he just wanted to be the, the monster and so he rocks up to this funeral of a character we're not going to say and basically turns right to harley and goes Hi, come on, we're off. And and she's kind of like, um, no. But she goes anyway. Of course she does. He, no, he's, oh. he kind of drags her away. Drags her away. It's kind of a, like, basically, he threatens to harm said, you know, dead person further. They rip the body apart. We don't know. And basically, she's like, touch him, touch him and I'll kill you. He's like, oh, honey, you're not going to do, do really that. Do we really have to have this talk again? And... And then he's like, basically, right, if you do this for me, I'll leave you alone. Lies! 
But okay. okay, the next part, the next one is when did I ever say you were beautiful? So the Joker at this point has said, Harley, I'm going to cut, gonna cut your face, face off. off. You know, classic Nicholas Cage, John Travolta situation. You won't get that reference because you've not seen that film, but people will. Is it will. Yeah. Obviously. Shut up, could you just carry <laughs> on? Um, and Harley turns around and goes... Would you still find me beautiful? And the Joker says, when did I ever say you were beautiful? And like, we checked. Yeah. We checked. Never, Never has he called her beautiful. Never. He said he's pretty. pretty. She has a pretty face. Yeah. All of but this. never beautiful. And I thought that was a really nice touch it in was the comic. Sad. But speaking of sad, we're gonna. This move. is even worse. So basically, he kind of knocks her out at some point, we and just as she's coming to, she's kind of like, "Oh, there you are, Miss Shit." Because as she's kind of coming to, she's seeing. The old him. She's like, I was having a bad dream that you turned into a monster, and it's so exciting. It does in his room. And, like, oh, and then me. she comes to, and there he is, and there he is all, or <laughs> which is basically what it is. Um, and it's just a heartbreaking moment. Um, so the next section is the reason why he wants to cut off her face is to make her pure. But he also says. Your joke, and uh, I'm gonna give Harley's you a, a facade. Harley's, Harley's a facade. The real and he's gonna put her in an acid bath and then cut again. her face off. Um, and then basically, she's like, Nah, you know what? Man, just get out of all of it and just kind of goes, Bye, I'm leaving. And he's like, He doesn't let her leave, basically. He kind of chains her up somewhere. And, and then she escapes. Oh. But the Joker comes back. See, this is my thing, is he's all like, Oh, I'm just gonna leave you here. Like, no one's ever gonna see you again. He's like, Honey. Oh, honey, you went back to see her. Anyway, we're all, so that's that's number two. And number one, drum roll, please. It is from Mad Love, and it is when the Joker and Harley first meet. First things first, the reason why this is number one, it's the, it's first, the first time meeting. they meet. Like, that is a Duh. big deal. Big deal. Like, these other moments couldn't happen if this didn't happen. And um, during their first meeting, there's a lot of cool little moments. But my personal favourite is he leaves a flower in her office in Arkham Asylum. And Harleen no. comes down and goes, what's this? He was like, I left you a note. Like, nonchalantly as ever. And literally, she's kind of like, I think the guards would be interested in how you got out of your cell. And he's like, oh, if you were going to tell them, you already would have. And... Like, she tries to sound like she doesn't care, but she clearly does. Oh, literally, he kind of tells the moment, like, literally, she kind of acts like, oh, you know, whatever, like, you, yeah. The moment he goes, I wish I had someone here I could tell my secrets to. She's like, Thank So, yeah, that's it. Top Boom. 10! Top 10. We would do a few honourable mentions, but this is like a 25-minute video. So, no honourable mentions. We could probably put them in another video. We'll do another one. Um, so... Hopefully, this will be the returning of Geekist, which I've been trying to get back for a while, but not had the time. He hasn't got a haircut. I've got a haircut, what do you think, guys? Anyway, so thanks for watching. I've been Jamie Langdon. That's been Sam. And... Bye! Not yet. Oh. If you want to see more of our stuff, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to see your regular updates about the shenanigans we get up to, follow us on Facebook. Just search you make it And I'm even on Twitter. I think you're, are you not on Twitter, are you? No. Well, I'm on Twitter. and I No much of one. So follow me at Jamie Langdon and... Follow me on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram, in house cosplay and chaos, uh, chaos, of chaos of Asgard, Asgard. If you want my cosplay page, uh, there's some stuff down in the pants for information for that shenaniganry, and that was a terrible ending. So on that note, I will see you guys later. Bye.